last episode, more humans being abducted. And hey, it seems like the red haired guy actually wants to chill here. He's like, e even though he started off from nothing, looks like he kind of worked his way up to this like military position. One, and uh, while all the other nobles kind of like, you know, shit on him and look down on him, he seems to enjoy it and he's actually thriving in our like, in our cave. So they're looking like big, I don't know. Uh, Ogro and him, the red haired guy, they seem like there's some romance going on. The other blonde girl, she looking real nice. I wonder if Ogro has done anything to her in the manga. We didn't really see anything in the anime. Anyways, the most important plus stuff I think right now is the fact that the humans are attacking the elves because the princess is like really sick and the elves have that medicine. But the elves are like, fuck that princess. Here, Ogro, you can have it instead. So I see potential for us to take a princess back into the cave. Let's begin today's reaction. Soge King! This is actually dying like this is probably like a very honorable way to go, right? Because this weapon is like a legendary relic or something, right? Getting impaled like that, that's like a pretty cool warrior's death <laughs> while <laughs> drinking tea. <laughs> that's not the only gaping hole tonight. <laughs> Limitless number of spears! <laughs> and we off screened it. Look at the mountain of corpses, bro. Holy shit. Not a single waifu, so we don't take him back home. Is that poison? To get rid of the body? Back with the elves. Prisoner of war? Which humans are here? The princess and the uh, red hair girl. Sorry, did I call her the princess? She's not the princess. She's just like, you know, a human knight. Resist! Who's resisting? The humans today? Hmm. Yeah. I just realized something that would be so fucked up that they could have done. It's like, you know, if the whole conflict was like this like terminal illness, what if like Goblins, like this is fucked up, but I could see such a convenient way where like goblin sperm itself has some like healing property in this world. So there's like a justified reason for all the goblins <laughs> to just, you know, do the pillaging and oh, could you imagine? Because that would be an actual reason to do all the things, you know? Oh my god, no, 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 don't give him any ideas. Hey, back up the five great gods okay some actual lore some kind of power structure the gods blessing two gods demise and origin when did we get that happen because of her allegiance or alignment with those god of origin and demise Really? I thought Ogre himself could just solo this place. Rugar de Orden? Rugar de Orden? What's that? AU? Order of Eight Hero Warriors. Finally, some worthy foes! I swear to God, if they get off screen, man. Bro's already thinking about eating them. Are you telling me all these skeletons right now have conquered the sun like Nezuko? Because like the sun's about to happen. But he's like he got some stuff planned up. Maybe they've all conquered the sun. Don't tell Muzan. 
任せろあの中枢を叩く<gasps> There they are! Oh god, CGI skeleton knights! Dude, we are geared up. Look at our armor. Won't be long until the sun shows up, I guess. Alright. No, they're disappearing! I thought he made preparations. Wait. What? The replicants, the little copies, have somehow imbued slime property on them and now they're fine. It's sunscreen. It's slime sunscreen. That's all they had to do. Also, why don't those demon slayers and the demons, why don't they just wear fucking sunscreen? This probably doesn't work like that. <laughs> what is that? No, don't off screen. What the fuck? That looks so cool. Show me the ending, man. オフスクリーンもう勘弁してよなんで僕この砂か申し訳ありませんブレイブ私英雄で荒らせられるのは違うでしょ俺は君らが死ぬまで頑張って戦えば済むことでしょまあいいかなんか面白そうなあ、there's the magic そこの黒い王がさん。ワンビーワン。お食事中ごめん。僕が次のお相手しましょうか。ピリカキ。そのフーボー。フィリポ、ザボンバグ、ザビビビ。僕すっごく有名人。フィリポ。そのものみたいで
すっただけでも内臓が麻痺して死ねるんだけど本当にすごいね I thought we might have like poison resistance or something. Ogre's in trouble! Bail him out! Ogre should be good, even if he looks dead.、Uh, hopefully. この死体を運んで解剖すれば何の神の加護を得ているか分かっちゃうしね。だって。ってあれ ?Where'd he go?、Huh? Okay, so he was faking it? Was that just a different copy? Or was that just a resistance? I don't know, they're not confirming it whether or not if it was a fake or not. Don't let him throw it, bro. Oh, damn, this rejects him. Is that because plot wise, his name Ogro? Is it gonna remain Ogro forever? Or is it gonna have different names? Is there a reason beyond just being a Giga Chat for just like、um, not telling him the name because his name will change in the future? Yeah, we know! BBB! <laughs> I'm not gonna let you do your monologue, bitch. Fuck your villain intro. You think I'm gonna wait for that shit? Why would we wait? That's so cliche. The first secret weapon is done, right? The test tube thing. We pretty much like electrocuted it. The suit? So he took the corpses. And he sucked them up. So the second secret weapon is like a mecha insect suit. Alright. Does he look more delicious now? I don't really know about that. Maybe if you fry him. Epic Awakening. Because, like, I think that we've seen other pictures or at least posters of his show where Ogro does look a little bit different. So, like, this is not obviously his final form. There's, like, more different forms. And if he goes through an epic awakening after killing this kid, what is that? Exactly, tell us. Bro got into the outfit? What do you mean? Wait, what? Do I remember this? Maybe he did show this before. No, I think I do remember this. What is this called? Eddie's what? Grow Elytron. We somehow started watching a l f a m e online, but this kind of feels like a l f a m e online. Let's go, Earthday! Even Seventh Prince hasn't done shit like this just yet. What the fuck is my man doing? <laughs> He kind of cheeked up! <laughs> bro has not been skipping. <laughs> like, he kind of cheeked up, bro. <laughs> bro, h a s just went running back naked. What's gonna happen when he returns to his kingdom? Alright, round one. A little bit of a tie, maybe, yeah. But I guess this is better than him rolling over every enemy. Message or the antidote? 
Okay, the cure for the princess. So therefore, take it and then in a piece. In a four. Surely the humans wouldn't be so shitty to continue the war after this, right? Hmm. We don't know just yet if they'll betray us. So smart, Ogro, actually. I feel bad for this bear thing. So much fucking baggage. Wait, 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 new, new, new prisoners? Uh, I don't really care about these two, but the one in the front. Okay, we got a new one. We got a new one. <gasps> it's him! Now he's not gonna kill them, right? What a benevolent god. Ogro, such a giga chat. No more killing, man. They're doing this to make the goblins look, you know, kind of in a good light. 30 people died? Really? I thought everyone just survives as usual. But all those cannon fodder. This is an actual thing? Zombies or ghosts could happen? Interesting. Salute soldiers. We appreciate your service. Oh! Damn. That just got so emotional out of nowhere. What the fuck? Oh my god, this is getting so emotional! Real men don't cry. And that's today's episode. Today's episode was more fighting, and they actually introduced a pretty hype group of people. So, well, I didn't know the existence of the five great gods or something, but basically because the gods give people blessings, um, there can be political, like, politic, like, turmoil because of who you align yourself with. We're origin and despise, that's why he can't just show up and do things be because maybe the humans worship a different god and, you know, they're not gonna trust us or stuff like that. So, the, so we basically were able to just give the potion through the replicant and end the war. I'm assuming the war is ended, but you never know with people like the brave around. Even if the war, the crown prince decided the war is ended, like kids like this, right? The other braves, I wonder if they're also battle freaks and willing to just kind of just not give a fuck just for a good fight. This kid, I don't know how to feel about him. The insect stuff, it was kind of creepy. I guess it was powerful. And it's kind of to show that the power scale in this show, it's not just Ogro. Just rolling over, just bulldozing everyone, right? So far, he has... There was some parts when he struggled in the early game, but recently he has been just like, just, just dominating people. And he also mentioned an interesting mechanic. I think it's called like the Epic Awakening. So we don't really know what that is yet, but I hope we'll get like an Epic Awakening like next couple episodes before the season ends. And that's pretty much it. The war seems to be done. And we've, you know, sync salutes to our fallen comrades and we figure out what we're going to do next. That's it from me. If you're still here, if you enjoyed this reaction, please like the video. Check out the other playlists for more content. And until next time, take care.